I'm not ginger. Colin Prince William sees the funny side after being mistaken for Harry during an engagement with pregnant Kate, who wrapped up her baby bump in festive red. Prince William joked I'm not ginger after being mistaken for Prince Harry this afternoon. The Duke of Cambridge was leaving a conference on cyberbullying after a joint engagement with his wife Kate when he made the quick to a member of the gathered crowd. A man shouted hi Prince Harry just before he climbed into the car that whisked him away yesterday afternoon. Earlier in the day, Proud Dad Will revealed Prince George starred in his school nativity play, As a Sheep. The youngster got dressed up with fellow pupils to wow parents and teachers at £17,600 a year Thomas, in Battersea, while the Duke of Cambridge watched on. George's modest troll shows he is not getting preferential treatment as pals took the best parts in the production. William said, I went to my boy's nativity play. It was funny. He was a sheep. The Duke made his comments to kids from Friars Primary School, in Salford, Manchester, as they gave the BBC feedback on its shows as part of the Children's Global Media Summit, at Manchester Central Convention Centre. William also made the keynote speech at the event, confessing how troubled he feels by cyberbullying. He said, Bullying through phones and social media is an issue that caught my attention after reading about children who had taken their own lives when the pressure got too much. As a HEMS and air ambulance pilot, I was called to the scenes of suicides and I witnessed the devastation and despair it brought about. And I felt a responsibility to do something about it. The Duke and Duchess were played a video in which children were asked to read a number of comments made to bullying victims. Among the shocking remarks were you were annoying. You are worthless and kill yourself. William said, Parents like Catherine and me are raising the first generation of digitally immersed children, and this gives us many reasons to be optimistic about the impact of technology on childhood. But he added, I am afraid to say that, as a parent, I believe we have grounds for concern. Kate dazzled in a red goat fashion dress and monochrome LK Bennett coat as she chatted to BBC Radio 5 Live's Nikki Campbell and McFly's Tom Fletcher about children's emotions. They joined a round table discussion about kindness a strategy aimed at introducing children to empathy while they are still young. The Duchess asked, at what stage can you start having these conversations? As they entered the building. The Duke and Duchess were greeted by school children as well as adults dressed in cartoon character outfits, including postman Pat and Peppa Pig. Alex Okozi, executive vice president and managing director of Viacom Africa, said he spoke to the Duke about the work the company was doing to help young people without access to education. He said, he understood the importance of education and trying to bridge that gap between those with unlimited access and those who will never get it. He was a really cool guy. The couple began today's visit by attending a Stepping Out session, a focus group for children to give feedback on new programs to children's TV producers and editorial staff. They met BBC Director General Tony Hall. Chief Advisor of BBC Sport Neil Land and the Director of BBC Children's Alice Webb as they arrived at the offices. The royal couple then joined children from Friars Primary School in Salford who had watched a film created by 14-year-old Josh Gale for news around about developing obsessive-compulsive disorder. In a question-and-answer session with the children, Josh explained he had told his father about his mental health problems. He said, it was metaphorically and physically like a weight off my shoulders. I was wanting to tell someone but I thought no one would understand. William told the children, you are much better than the adults at questions. Very good questions. The couple joined children for group discussions where they both encouraged the youngsters to talk about mental health. Kate said, people are so worried about what they say, they aren't saying anything at all. And what we've found from speaking to people is it's so good to have conversations. William said, mental health used to be this scary word that people didn't like talking about and it's slowly getting better now. Pregnant mother of 2 Kate arrived for today's engagement trapped up against the cold in a 495 pounds check coat by L.K. Bennett, recently spotted on Donna Air, the girlfriend of her brother James. But once inside, she removed her outerwear to reveal a more cheerful number in bright red by Goat, one of the brands she's been relying on heavily of late. The event brings together creatives, technology innovators, policymakers and executives from around the world to discuss the future of media for the younger generation and explore the impact digital technology will have on children's futures.
Kate will join a forum hosted by Sesame Street's workshop, the charitable foundation of a children's TV show, on research commissioned into kindness. William is due attend a short private meeting related to the Royal Foundation Cyber Bullying Task Force before giving his speech. Last month, William gave a speech at the launch of the task force at Google's London headquarters and said he hoped the UK could become a world leader on tackling cyber bullying. Before going to the summit, the Duke and Duchess will speak to school children taking part in a focus group, called a Stepping Out Session, where they can give editorial staff and content producers from children's television their views on new programs. It's been a busy week so far for the couple who last night attended a glittering reception at Buckingham Palace. The White Tie Diplomatic Reception is the main social event of the year in London for the diplomatic community and reflects the Queen's importance in terms of the UK's international relations. For the occasion the Duchess wore the Cambridge Lovers Knot tiara a piece beloved by William's late mother, Diana, Princess of Wales. The pregnant mother of two appeared to be wearing a white silk gown which featured intricate embellishment around the neckline offset by an elegant diamond necklace.